When you come into truth, it becomes simpler and simpler. Your body has poisons. The poisons must be removed one way or another. There's different kinds of poisons that will have different, more efficacious routes of elimination. And those are your symptoms. That's your symptom picture. And the symptoms are the body healing. So the symptoms of whatever's happening is your healing. You are expressing, which means you are healing. And now you're suddenly sick. You were already heading toward the symptoms and the body was trying to mount the nutrition and whatever it needed to do it without symptoms. So if you are active in your cleansing practices and you also are aware of not poisoning yourself, you would never ever express as a cold or a flu again in your life. You could be around a whole room full of snot nosed anybody's who were expressing and you would come out with that with nothing. You would never catch a thing. So, and we have, we know this is also easily done with proper science, which we have done those studies. The Germans did the studies way back in the Spanish flu hoax as well. They did, they tried to do contagion studies and it did not work. You could not take mucus off of someone who was expressing and put it into another person and have them get those symptoms of that disease. So what we have is a magic show going on. This is the awakening that the magic show has been going on for generations and generations. And it's, this is the unveiling. So we're seeing it. And so it's uncomfortable because <laughs> it's a lifetime of going back and re-correcting mistakes and, and understanding that you've been punked, <laughs> you know? And it's hard to swallow. It's hard to take, especially for people who are very rigid in their beliefs and they know what they know and that's it, you know, and that's ego. So we have to transcend that lower ego and the shadow and we have to come into consciousness. And as my spiritual teacher would say, pour the waters of consciousness, you know, over everything and find the kernels of truth and let that lead you, let that thread lead you to the next truth and build your foundation solid, build it properly. I've had to take my business as a PMA, a private membership association, specifically in Canada. So I'm not a public, I'm not open to the public. I'm not here to serve public, which again is a law term, public versus private. So a private individual, man versus man saying, I would like this from you. And I'll say, well, I will procure that for you, especially being a practitioner, trained practitioner, I can do that as an exception. And so uh, those in Canada just need to reach out to my staff through an email to set up the, the process of becoming a private member and accessing things that way. So that's how I have it run in Canada and doing so with integrity, of course, because if you're doing anything in life, you must stand by what you're doing and you must make sure you're doing proper principles. You're doing things safely and clean techniques and all of this sort of thing. So understand that if you want to heal yourself, there's a lot of unlearning that comes with it. And then relearning or self-teaching, whether you're an autodidact, say, I'm an autodidact. I can teach myself anything. I taught myself how to crochet by watching YouTube videos. I taught myself how to cook by watching, you know, cooking shows. I know how to put things together and I, I understand alchemy from my chemistry background. So I know a positive, how a positive and a negative will go together, for example, and how, or how the tastes work, you know, together. And once you get foundational principles, you can ride on the foundation and you can create from there. But if you're up in the froth, it looks very difficult. It looks hard to do. Um, it goes back to actually religion and the belief that people who were ill deserved it and that they were demonically possessed. And actually that's the history of the germ theory. The germ theory is its foundational roots is based on that you deserved it, that there's something wrong with you. Therefore, God has shunned you and you have taken on a demon. And that's literally <laughs> the base of the germ theory it comes from super superstition. And we're living superstition still today. 